Can you see that? <laughs> that is the wind trying to force itself into this house. It's actually neat to watch, but at the same time, we don't have plastic on every window in this house because there's about 100 windows. Um, and yeah, it is Christmas Eve. I am here all by myself. This is the first year, I think, in my life I've ever been alone on Christmas Eve. We got all of this wind, which caused the few inches of snow that we actually got to drift over on the roads. As a matter of fact, earlier today, I had to take a trip to town because I ordered a fresh baked pie for Christmas Eve. And I almost got the truck stuck. If it wasn't for my speed, I definitely would have gotten stuck. And um, Darren will definitely agree uh, he's been a kind gentleman, and he's been kind of clearing some of these roads. I mean, it's all field out here. We're out in the country, so the snow is just blowing right over the roads, and it's just terrible. I probably have a good four feet of snow in front of the barn doors right now, but yet there's hardly any snow on the grass out here. So it's just it's where it's blowing. It's just going everywhere. That's just the way that it is. And actually, I thought it was supposed to stop being windy uh, in the afternoon, but here we're going on coming up on eight o'clock and it's still really really windy the wood furnace is struggling to keep this house at 60 uh, it really is struggling it's actually kind of amazing um, I I have that thing fully loaded I've been loading it every couple of hours I've just been dumping wood in there and because of this wind not so much the temperatures but because of the wind uh, it, the, the wood furnace is really struggling to keep this main floor at 60 and the second floor is even worse. Fortunately, nobody's home, so nobody has to sleep in a cold room. I'm probably going to sleep on the couch. I got to get up, you know, if I take a nap or something like that, I got to get up in a couple hours anyway to keep the fire going because this house will drop to freezing temperatures if I don't keep that fire going. So, uh, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, <laughs> it is... It is weird being here all by myself on Christmas Eve, and I'm just I'm I'm struggling to find things to do, which is really weird for me as well, um, because I'm usually working on some kind of project, but it's too cold outside and too windy to do anything out there. Um, I can't think of any good movies I want to watch. I watched the Christmas movies that I was going to watch. Um, sometimes I'll play games on the computer. I can't think of anything that I'm really interested in playing. It's really weird. I don't like being in this this uh, predicament. I can't go anywhere. Uh, Danielle has the truck, so it's not like I can go anywhere. The Volt will definitely not make it. With all that wind, the Volt will not make it. We did not get all the snow they, they were calling for, but we got the wind, and that's blown the snow that we did get out onto the roads. So... And we were lucky we did not lose power. We didn't, we got some flickering lights, but that was about it. So we didn't lose power, but I'm still, with all this wind, I'm still staying on the grid, fully charged batteries, ready to go because we have to heat this house. Um, and so I don't want to use any of my batteries. Batteries is something that I am going to definitely invest in this coming year. And I was actually reading a post on the forum about the increase in tax credits, the 30% increase, not a 30% increase, but they're increasing the renewable energy tax credit to 30%. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if that's 100% true or verified or whatever, but I was reading on the forums, there's a discussion on it. So I am without a doubt going to be investing in more solar and I'm going to be investing in batteries. Batteries is going to be our big push this coming year we're six days away from the new year and we're going to make it a point that in 2023 i am going to get batteries now <clears throat> excuse me going off grid excellent guy he actually he's bought two of our 6k inverters he's bought one of our 12k inverters patiently waiting for that one um he's he's in canada he's got this beautiful 
property that he's that he just moved to uh, this past year and <clears throat> he's got solar panels all over his property uh, you should check out his channel it's going off grid and he has all this mix and match batteries from every different car and everything else and that's fine I completely respect that but personally uh, I want to just buy all at once or in sections the same cells, the same 280 or 310 amp hour um, LiPo 4 battery cells. And I need, <laughs> I need at least 3,000 amp hours worth of battery. I just do. We have received almost no sun today. I probably have only generated uh, maybe 8 kilowatts, maybe 10 kilowatts at most for the day. <clears throat> it's funny, uh, Darren and I always have a competition on who's generating more because um, he's he's just right down the road. Uh, and I, during this kind of crap, I don't generate anything. So I need to rely on my batteries to be able to get me through these dead spots, basically, where I'm not generating electricity. And <laughs> every time I calculate it, it just gets worse and worse. And we've had a sense meter on our mains coming in from the grid, and we're realizing that, holy crap, we really got to get a lot of batteries. I'm looking at 3,000 amp hours worth of batteries, and I'm not kidding. I would like to get even more than that. I'd like to bump that up to four or even 5,000 amp hours worth of batteries. I also need the solar. If I finish the solar, then I'll have 40-ish kilowatts of solar. To me, even that doesn't sound like that much because when it's cloudy, you're only putting out maybe 10%. So that's 4 kilowatts an hour during these short, short days. So I might generate at most, um, you know, maybe uh, 35 kilowatts at most on these short winter days. And when we're consuming 100 kilowatts in a day, well, you know, it's it's not it's not going to work out all that well. So I need lots of battery, lots of solar, and wind. Uh, look at how windy it is out here. I mean, you can see the wind moving that plastic around. If I had a wind turbine up right now, especially up high, you know, 30, 40, 50 feet, I would... I would not have to the batteries will be full charged right now because of the wind just just crazily spinning it's always windy out here and I get the disadvantages of wind <clears throat> and I think what many people think <laughs> is that if you go with wind you're trying to save money on your electric bill all the money that I have, and I've mentioned this several times, all the money that I have in solar and batteries, inverters, charge controllers, wiring, etc., there's no way I will ever make my money back in the amount of money I'm going to save not buying it from the grid. The grid is, for the most part, I know in some areas it's not, but for the most part, especially here, the grid is far cheaper than going off the grid. Far cheaper. <clears throat> so... My goal isn't to be like, oh, I don't have an electric bill. I'm saving money. Oh, because of all the money, uh, 30, 40, 50 years, I'm still not going to have it paid back. That's not the goal. The goal is to be grid independent, to be off the grid. My goal is not to save money. My goal is to be off the grid. I am the type of person who feels like the grid is fragile. I, I do. This is not me saying doomsday or we're definitely going to lose the grid but you've seen the stories especially this past year with hackers and things like that bringing down the grid it is it is within the realm of possibility that a coordinated attack on our grid be it emp be it hacking um <clears throat> you know anything anything could take it down there's there's main lines that serve a lot of our country and so on like that i mean it would not take that much to bring all that stuff down and um i i feel like we've come to depend on the grid so much as a society that if that goes down we're in trouble serious trouble so i honestly still feel like solar is my main thing wind is secondary 
gas generators, be it propane, natural gas, diesel, uh, whatever, will be another form. And uh, heck, if I have to get my bicycle generator out in order to, to generate some electricity, I'll do it. Uh, I just don't feel like it's a good idea to just rely on one source or even two sources of power. And I feel like you need to have backups of the equipment that you have. Extra charge controllers on hand in Faraday boxes ready to go. Extra inverters on hand in Faraday boxes ready to go. Extra wiring. Extra solar panels. An extra wind generator. Uh, you know, there's, there's things that can go wrong. And I believe that it's in your best interest if you have a backup plan and you're ready to execute that. And at the same time, you know, some people would say, well, you're going to put all this time and effort into this. And then if things do hit the fan, then somebody's just going to come and steal it all from you or take over your house or just come with 40 guns and all this other stuff. I get it. But I don't think we're going to get to that point. And when I'm done doing all the solar and the generators and the wind turbines and the batteries and that stuff, then I'll start to prepare for the, you know, the actual end of the world when I do have to be on the defensive, when I do have to find safe spots, bug out shelters and things like that. But right now, I need to get the energy problem solved because anybody drives up and down the road, they can see all my solar panels. So it's hard to hide solar panels. It is difficult to hide solar panels. If you have a bunch of trees around your solar panels, you're not generating electricity. So your solar panels are going to be visible somewhere. And you could argue that, oh, just cut out a couple of acres of trees and set the solar panels in there that's far away from the road and all this People aren't just going to stick to the roads. They're going to wander. They're going to see your solar panels. And they're going to look to see where those solar panels are going. And they're going to assume that you're prepared because you have solar panels to begin with. So, you know, whatever. I mean, it, it, it's a work in progress. That's all I can say. We've only got so much money. We can only use so much at once. But anyways, so it is Christmas Eve. Uh, so for those of you who do celebrate, not everybody does who follows this channel, I understand. But for those of you who do celebrate, I do. Merry Christmas. It's going to be weird being alone Christmas Eve. I won't see my family until sometime tomorrow afternoon. So that's going to be weird. But <clears throat> first time for everything. They have decided that they're going to stay at uh, Danielle's parents because it's safer that way. It was pretty bad getting there. So they decided they're just going to stay there overnight, which I'm fine with, <clears throat> and I'll see them tomorrow. Hopefully everything will be cleared. <clears throat> I know exactly who to call, even on Christmas, to help get the truck out. He will remain nameless, Darren. <clears throat> so at any rate, Merry Christmas to everybody, those of you who celebrate. Uh, I'm doing everything I can to keep this house decently warm. I even have a little space here going right at my feet to try to stay warm and my job is to keep this house warm and weirdly enough i mean michigan is known for that joke if you don't like the weather wait five minutes and we do get those weather swings but we're supposed to see 50 degrees next week can you believe that and rain for two days so all of this snow that we got is going to disappear <laughs> it's crazy but this is Michigan. It's going to be almost January, and we're going to be seeing 50 degrees. It's weird. 50. When I was a kid, we never, we would never see anything above 30 when I was a kid. It's crazy. It really is. So anyway, um, we still got a couple of cold nights ahead of us, uh, near zero temperatures. I'm wearing, I'm going to bat down the hatches for another one tonight, and. Hopefully this won't won't be as bad as yesterday or last night. Boy, I tell you what, I was filling and filling and filling and filling that wood furnace, and it's like I said, it's doing everything it can to keep up, just to maintain about sixty degrees in this house. We have a large house. The furnace was not designed for a house this size. We 
completely understand. But the only thing I'm paying for as far as heating the house is the electricity for the blowers. Far cheaper than propane, as I've mentioned several times. Far cheaper. A little bit of gas and oil for the chainsaw and the quad or the tractor. Far cheaper. So, absolutely the way to go. The way to go. And I got plenty of wood on the property that I still have to cut up. And I got plenty of piles. And I got <clears throat> cats who are all wound up. So, anyway. Merry Christmas to everyone. Stay safe out there. Uh, some of you got hit worse. We did not get the snow anywhere close to what they were claiming we would get. But we are getting the winds, so that can be just as bad. I can't step outside for more than 5-10 seconds feel like my face is going to freeze off. I've got a really nice full face mask still, and the, the wind goes down into my eyes. I need to get some goggles or something. But um, so hopefully you stay warm. Some of you are probably nice and toasty. I am watching this plastic move all over the place because it's just really, really windy out there. But if you look outside, you see hardly any snow because it's all on the roads. <laughs> it's just weird. So at any rate, Merry Christmas to everybody. Thanks for all of your support. 2023 is going to be the year for Genetry Solar. I can feel it. I know it. Those of you who are on the pre-orders, we still appreciate your patience. And I'm going to figure out a way to repay you all for your patience. So we're working hard to get the pre-orders here. And we have some other stuff that we're working on too. But I can't share it yet. So at any rate, Merry Christmas to everybody. Have a safe and happy holiday if you celebrate. If you don't, have a great weekend then. So I'll catch you on the next video. And take care.